I think I'm a good leader and a good person to have around the footy club. I'm a good communicator with people. But then on, on the footy field, I'm a real competitor. I really want to win and I feel like I'm a good bowl user. Oh, wow. Beautiful right foot kick. The scouts were like that. Yeah, I was pretty happy with my championships. I feel like over the four games, I had stronger games than others, but I feel like in all the games, I was able to contribute to my team and, and help us get the result. I think there was a couple of games where I probably didn't start as well as I would have liked, but I was pretty proud that I was able to sort of address that at half-time and come out and still have, have a contribution in the second half. Dumped away, though, by Big Country. Young got it off to Ash. The two stars combined. Hayden Young's deadly left foot separates him from the rest of the crop in this year's draft pool because he can deliver the footy so well on that side. He spots up teammates. He really makes the play from half-back. So that's why clubs at the top end of the draft are looking at him. Melbourne at pick three. Adelaide at pick four and Sydney at pick five loom as potential homes for the big country player. So he's just had an outstanding season. He managed to make the All-Australian team and take his game to another level after which was a, a really promising bottom age season last year. Last year I played at Dan Stingers and we won our first premiership as a club. Got to share that with my brother so that was pretty special. I was lucky enough I was one of two bottom ages to play in that side and the top age group were really sort of accepting of us and made us feel really comfortable at the level and then played with my brother back in the 10s. So that was the first time I got to play with him for a couple of years and um, it was pretty special. I suppose it was um, a little bit challenging though because I suppose we were pretty competitive so if one person played better than the other it was a little bit quiet on the, on the road trip home but um, that was good. We both were pretty driven. Early lead. That's a great grab, Young. Lucky Young. He's at the Western Bulldogs. Got pick six in the rookie draft. Very proud of sort of where he's come from and where he's got to. The other week we went and did some like public speaking for a local team and we had to tell about our stories and I felt a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> I was telling my story after his because his was really incredible. He was never sort of in the Stingrays programs um, growing up. He had a lot of setbacks. Then he came back sort of more driven I suppose and played as a 19 year old at Stingrays. And you could tell that he sort of came back with a sort of inner desire to sort of to get there and he was playing with a lot more freedom and then he was yeah, lucky enough to get an opportunity at the end of the year and he certainly uh, made the most of that. I don't like to sort of pick one player because I feel like there's so many good players in the league that you can learn things off. I love watching Scott Pendlebury, Marcus Bontepalli, just their composure and decision making with bow in hand. James Sisley is good to watch off half back. He's really aggressive with his positioning and his intercept marking. I like watching Jack Crisp. Yeah, I like his run off half back and his attacking. Bounce the ball is crucial. Attacking at first, it's Young who's very evasive and does beautifully to chip back inside and find his teammate in Sarong. It certainly does apply a bit of pressure. I suppose at the start of the year I probably struggled with that a little bit. Sort of went into games thinking that I needed to get X amount of touches and be the best player on the field, but I think I adapted pretty quickly and um, fixed up my mindset and how I approach sort of my games and my performance. And I think that helped me in good stead throughout the year. And yeah, going forward, I'm not too, not too stressed about those sort of things.